Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome, I am Lord Spinkingham and as you can see I have answer time for you. Now thank you for all the questions you gave me, I've got over a hundred to get through so I'll be as quick as possible. But I just want you to know there will be a poll at the top of the video that you can vote on. Let me know what you think of this video because I've actually introduced a massive epic funny glitchy compilation of zombies and multiplayer. So let me know what you think of my, my multiplayer stuff so that I might bring out some just pure multiplayer videos for you in the future to mix it up with the zombies a little bit. But other than that, let's get on to it. So first question, what do you think about the new DLC zombie map name? So Zetsubo no Shima, I think it is actually a really good name. It's very basic, like standard with the original zombies, very basic, just running circles. Despair Island, sounds pretty scary, but we'll find out when we go there. Show us your face, there we go. Um, favorite game, my favorite game probably had to be Halo 1 and 2. Um, that is what really got me into gaming. Your favorite wonder weapon, either the Blundercat or the Zeus Cannon. Very, very beautiful weapons there. And are you slash did you go to university? Um, I did briefly. I went to university and studied philosophy. I'm a massive fan of the sciences and philosophy in general. Not really the poem and all that side of it but more the scientific side of it um but yeah i went briefly i quit due to philosophical differences um how old are you i'm 26 have how long have you played zombies to be that good to achieve average rounds about 60 thank you very much um just practice just pattern recognition learning where zombies come from when you're training that is the key Tr learning to train well learning where all the gaps are for you to get through um how long have you played zombies to be that good to achieve oh i've just read that uh, when did you start playing cod i uh, started playing it very from the beginning of black ops 1 and modern warfare 2. um have you always been a zombies guy do you play multiplayer much well as you can see i do actually play it more multiplayer than people realize like i am a zombies fan but i really do like the multiplayer as well black ops 2 multiplayer was better i think what is the meaning of life in your own words? Okay, as someone who likes philosophy, I have thought about this, obviously. To me, the meaning of life is to adapt, to change, to better survive in our current circumstances. Uh, the whole evolution is a simple lesson for that. We need to learn to change and adapt to be able to progress, to become a better society. And it's quite ironic, considering most people seem to fear change. Um, can you give me a shout out and can you add me on PS4? Shout out to you Savvy YouTube. Um, unfortunately I don't add people on PS4. I'm not like those Facebook people that have 2,000 friends and don't speak to any of them. To me my friends list is exactly that. It is a friends list. It's people I play with on a daily basis. I speak to all the time. Um, but in the future I will be doing live streams and subscriber lobbies to play with you guys. Moving on, which Call of Duty game in the entire series was your best experience? Probably Black Ops 1. I was in the middle of the countryside for seven months and that just really helped time go by. What is your favourite map in any COD? It has to be Mob of the Dead. Mob of the Dead or Kino de Totem, my two favourite maps right there. Who was your inspiration for YouTube if you have any? My biggest inspiration for YouTube has to be Mr. Ruffle Waffles. <laughs> I was going to do his impression there, no, I can't do that. Um, Mr. Ruffle Waffles is a brilliant YouTuber. I think he brings out very intelligent videos, very well thought out, thought out and very well presented videos. He definitely works hard on that and he always tries to bring out something new and if he is replicating something that's already known he tries to bring his own spin to it or tries to bring it in a way that's new like more information on top of it but yeah moving on are we going to the new dlc 2 map to kill takio 1.0 well i believe so we we've got dempsey's soul um supposedly we don't actually have ricked off in soul yet there's a whole thing with noah j456 and jason blundell but we'll find out in the future but yeah i reckon we're going there to kill takio do you like xbox one or playstation 4 i used to be an xbox fan until the newer gen consoles came out if you get the same game watch the loading screens on both of the consoles you'll notice that xbox has such longer loading screens to playstation even the little loading screens little things like going through doors in skyrim and things like that um what's your real life job at the moment I don't have a job I'm currently looking I need to go out and really get a job right now because I need to bring you guys some better quality videos and I am actually stuck 
like I can't bring out my full potential to you guys without better internet at the moment. I can't do all those live streams. I can't. I, it's holding me back a lot. So I need to get that job, get a house with better internet, and bring you guys better videos. Uh, why did you start YouTube, and are you happy with your progress? I started it because I felt I have something to offer to the table. I was always that guy when joining random matches. I always were teaching people new things within the game, how to train. I was always that person where three people would die, and they'd be watching your screen, and you'd have to drag them up to the higher rounds. And I thought, well, if there's guys on YouTube that are the same like kind of level I am, why can't I do what they do? And obviously, there's a whole video side of it that's completely different. But I'm working on that. Um, if I'm happy with the progress, it will do for now. As I said, the internet is holding me back. But once I get past that, channel would, should hopefully explode. Who is your idol? Nightwing. Nightwing is my idol. He's been my idol since I was a kid. But I did actually find my dad in the past couple of years. And when you first think... Uh, it, I've, I've never met him before that. And he could have been anyone. He could have been a homeless drug addict to a uh, president, for God's sake. Like, you, you never know the scenario that they're going to be in and it turns out he was actually in the US he's American by the way he was in the USA Army did a 20 year contract um, got into physics and aeronautics and actually became a rocket scientist for NASA so on a massive intellectual level I really he is a bit of a hero for me on that side of things um, how old are you 26 are you a reptilian no not a reptilian I'm afraid just a zombie expert uh, Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton well, voting for Donald Trump is like voting for hate, and voting for Hillary Clinton is like voting for corruption, so neither. You guys need a revolution. We all need a revolution. When is your birthday? 26th of 9th, 1989. The fuck your, does your name mean? Oh, my name. So, Spinkingham. The Lord is pretty obvious. Uh, Stephen Pinkham is my proper name. And I took the S, I took the pink, and then put the ham at the end. It had spink something ham. I needed something to fill the gap, and I just went spinking ham. It just rolled off the tongue. So I've used it ever since. Um, how old are you? 26. Look at the comments, guys. Repeating the same questions. And what is your highest round? 83. How did you start to play zombies and when? As I said, Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 2, why are you a brain fetishist? Okay, so that's probably not the best word to use. That's a sexual attraction to something. I'm not a brain fetishist. I'm obsessed with the human brain. But um, this was by God of Panda. I answered his question in a live stream as in why is my profile picture a brain? And I'm just, as I said, I'm obsessed with the subconscious and the conscious, the human interactions and all these tiny little things. I'm obsessed with pattern recognition. And I just, I find the human brain fascinating. And that that's why I have a brain as my profile picture. And do you think there will be four new weapons in the new map like the bows in DLC 1? Yes, uh, supposedly the most likely scenario again at the moment. The evidence is pointing towards four katanas that we're each going to have their own elemental system. A bit like the bows. Um, do you do 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 what is the theme song okay guys so I don't actually have a theme song all the music you are hearing is part of the share factory free music that you get on the PlayStation 4 have you beat Dead Ops Arcade 2? No, I haven't yet. I've been working on it for the past week. Kudos to Mr. T Lexify for being the first YouTuber to complete Dead Ops Arcade 2 and upload it on YouTube. Kudos to you, but dude. Um, congratulations on the huge milestone. Thanks, Zubzi. Do you plan on getting a capture card? Yes, I plan on getting all the equipment, guys. I plan on getting the the mic, the PC, the capture card, the, the gaming chair. I plan on getting it all in the future when I have the money and I have the full support of YouTube um, so that I can actually make it full-time in the YouTube industry so bear with me where what is your motivation to be level 350 in zombies okay so I don't actually have a really a motivation for leveling up I just love playing zombies guys and the prestige in the leveling up that comes besides the just playing zombies in general because I play it a lot I level up a lot Do -do -do -do. what is your favorite zombies map as I said guys what, read the comments, you're repeating yourself. Um, but I do actually love Mob of the Dead, Kino de Toe, and two of my favourites. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes, I do have a girlfriend. I've been with her for about two and a half years now, and she actually met me and fell in love with me while I was sleeping in a tent in the woods while I was street homeless. So I'm not letting this one go, guys. <laughs> do you think we will see Takio's older version? Yes, because I think we will be sacrificing him in the new DLC. Why does your internet suck? Okay, so this is the big question, guys. Why does my internet suck so much? 
I live in a ha shared house with 11 different people. Uh, the internet ranges between 200 kilobytes and 6 megabytes per second. So depending on how many people are on during the day, depends on if I'm going to have a good or a bad day. That's why I can only play multiplayer a couple hours a night, and I'm really struggling to get that dark matter camo. What do you think about the DLC 5 rumours? Okay, so I actually think it is plausible. There's no one that can say it's definite except for people that work at Treyarch. And even then, things can change. Like, I, I think the zombie storyline will end at around DLC 4, but I do believe it is possible they could remake certain old maps like Kino de Totem to bring out to the zombie community because this is the last zombie game, guys. They're going to want us to keep playing it as long as possible, plus it's going to bring them extra money. So, DLC C5 is perfectly plausible. Will you do more live streams in the future? Yes, guys. This is exactly what I was talking about. The internet is holding me back so much. You have no idea. Ooh, um, I will be bringing out at least every other daily live streams. So that's what I want to do in the future. I want to be live streaming at least every two days with you guys, chatting with you guys on a, every other daily basis, at least even on a daily basis. Now, Zep plays. He's got a whole list of questions for me. Hey, Zep plays. Um, where do you live? I live in Colchester in Essex in England. What's your favourite zombies map? Dryzen, uh, not Dryzen track. Mob of the Dead. Um, favourite weapon in all of zombies? The Tomahawk. The Tomahawk from Mob of the Dead. Why? You, we need that back. We need a weapon like that back. It was such a good permanently used weapon. Um, what phone do you have? I have an HTC M9 M1. Uh, HTC One M9. Um, your favourite lethal or tactical? As I said, the tomahawk. Even in multiplayer, guys, I used to be that guy in Black Ops Two that would run around tomahawking people. Favourite perk? Juggernog standard or stamina? Actually, I really like stamina. Favourite special weapon? Special weapon. Ooh. Probably the swords. The orange sword where you can get the sword that just flies around killing zombies. That's pretty handy. Have you seen The Walking Dead? What do you think about it? Um, I have seen The Walking Dead. I actually read the comic books before the actual series came out. Uh, watch the, Read the comic book. book Should we start again? Let's read the comic book, guys, because it is so good. You have to read it. Uh, Favourite YouTuber? Probably Glitching Queen or... As I said, Mr. Ruffle Waffles, they're both such inspirations for original content, bringing more to the table when they are bringing out videos that have already already known information. They just offer so much to the table. Favourite artist slash song? Oh, I don't know. I'm not really a specific one favourite type of person. I have a multitude of things that I really like. Um, I really like, what's her name? Lindsay Sterling, uh, Crystallize shadows i really like those type of songs um let's see are there any other ones he hasn't already been asked du -du -du -du. first game you remember playing alex the kid on sega the original built-in game on the sega mega drive and then i played sonic the hedgehog the cartridge you could plug in do you aim shoot with r1 l1 or r2 l2 i aim with l2 and r2 i will be doing my own custom setup soon so that i can revive people a lot easier because it's not exactly easy to turn the camera and press square at the exact same time. Um, do you accept friend requests on the PS4? I don't at the moment guys, but as I said, when I live stream and do subscriber lobbies, I will be adding people then. Uh, thoughts on Donald Trump? Don't vote for Donald Trump. I know, for me, I believe we need to take a couple steps backwards as a society before we can take those three steps forward and actually change for the better. But Donald Trump, that's like taking a hundred steps backwards, guys. Seriously, we've gotten past the hate. We've gotten past the prejudice. We need to continue moving forward. You're going back to someone that's just completely prejudiced. Um, let's go. Do you have a car yet? No, I don't have a car at the moment. I probably never will unless I'm forced to due to kids, things like that. I will be getting a motorbike soon in the future. Talk about yourself like age. What country do you live? What are your hobbies? All general hobbies. I love parkour. Um, I love general intellectual problem solving things like chess, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm obsessed, as I said, with the human brain, philosophy, the sciences, and of course, I love my gaming. What is your religion? Okay, so I don't actually have a set religion. I have my own belief system based on a very scientific theory, but that's another video for another time. And a lot of people repeating the same questions. I've actually got all of the information in I need, I believe. I will be playing with people in the future when I get that better internet and live stream on a daily basis. But other than that, remember to vote, remember to like, subscribe, and have an awesome day.